Hi guys, today we're going to be upgrading from Android 2.2 Froyo to uh, Android 2.3.5 and this is going to be for the Samsung Infuse and this also works for the Samsung Captivate. Um, it should work on most Samsung phones actually. I haven't tested it with uh, any besides those two that I just named but it should work. Um, I'm not going to guarantee it but I don't see why it wouldn't. So to, uh, before we begin, I want to announce that I'm not responsible if you for any reason damage your phone in this process because you can in fact br uh, brick it if you do it improperly. So that being said, um, I'm going to go on and tell you what you're going to need before we start this. Okay, we're going to need, to begin with, the Odin software and that's going to be found here. I'll put the link in the description and uh, I'm going to be using this one right here. Multi Odin version 3.95, and uh, I guess you could get that one to follow along. And you're also going to need the uh, uh, gingerbread firmware, which is also going to be in the description below. And uh, for Infuse, the Samsung Infuse, we're going to go on and download this one. This is for the Galaxy S, which also works. Uh, and like I said, you could even use this one for uh, Captivate, which I have done in the past. So, that being said, uh, I'm going to go and show you what needs to be done with the phone. Alright, so um, we're going to be working with this strange angle since I don't have a tripod. I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to do my best to help you guys out. So, uh, first step is you're going to take the back off and the battery out. Okay, we're going to take the battery out for a few seconds. And then we can now put it back in. And this time, this part, you're going to want to hold the volume. Hold on, where is it? the volume up and down button at the same time while you do that you're gonna plug in the USB now do not do not uh, push the power button just hold the two volume buttons up and down and plug this in and it should go into download mode it's gonna ask you a custom OS can uh, do some have some critical problems blah 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 just uh, click volume up and continue along with it and this is the screen you should be at now with when you're in this screen Odin should now recognize the phone know it's in download mode and uh, we should be able to carry along with uh, with, the, with the installation so have Odin open and we'll continue along okay so back here in uh, Odin uh, when you get into download mode, you're going to see <clears throat> over here it's going to say the phone is detected and the COM port mapping as long as it says something here. It's yellow and it means we're good to go. And um, over here we have a little message box which we'll uh, keep an eye on. So um, <clears throat> over here we're going to go into the PDA. We're going to click that. And it's going to show us the home binary dot tar. Now we're going to double click this. And uh, now we're going to hit start. I'm not going to hit start because I've already done this, but you hit start and uh, it's going to put your phone through all the necessary settings. It's going to make it, and you'll see in the messages, it's going to go through all the installation and blah, blah, blah. Your phone will um, eventually reboot itself. There will even be a little installation bar on the phone. But when it's all done, said and done, it's gonna the phone will reboot itself and it will load back in here and this should turn green if I'm not mistaken. I, it was a while ago that I did this, but this is how it is done. So um, after that is done, we're able to close out of here, and I will go back to my phone and show you that it is uh, I have done it successfully. Although I did it a while ago, it should uh, also work for you. This is the same exact procedures that I went through. Like I said, when you go into this folder and you have the firmware for the for the uh for the Samsung, make sure it is a dot tar file. Whatever extension it has, MD five, MB five, I forgot what it was exactly, but make sure it is a simple plain tar file. And uh let me go to my phone and show you that you can in fact have gingerbread. So one second please. Alright. So um I have the phone booted up right here, and uh, like I said, I already have this installed, but uh, it sh these are the same exact steps that I did when I first installed it. Now, I also forgot to mention, um, if, your, if Odin is not able to recognize your phone, that means that you don't have the drivers installed um, on the computer. So you should install the 
uh, the drivers from the Samsung website or manufacturer's website, um, wherever you're, whatever phone you're doing. I'm not sure how this works with other devices, but um, you're going to, uh, you have to have the drivers installed beforehand. Also, it would help if you have the Keys, K I E S software installed. Um, that's also made by Samsung. That's their default, um, ma like uh, phone manager software. But um, you do have to have those two installed to ensure that Odin is able to recognize the device. So that being said, we're going to go over here into our uh, settings. And I'm going to show you that it is, in fact, using the gingerbread operating system. Oh, that's not it. Here we go. Right there, it says build number. And uh, I'm hoping the phone will be able to focus on this. That it says gingerbread on it. I don't know if how well you guys can see that, but it seems like the phone is having a hard time focusing on it. Well, not the phone, the camera. But that is in fact gingerbread right there. And um, a couple things: there will be more for clo uh, force closes than usual. Um, this usually doesn't affect their performance, but it, there might be a freeze up once in a while. Um, sometimes my keyboard crashes while I'm uh, texting or something like that, and I'll have to close my uh, messaging, messaging box and I will have to reopen it. It really depends on the phone because uh, because of the hardware itself. Um, mo usually, it, it works fine. I mean, it's not like I said. This is a leaked version of gingerbread it is not fully optimized for its use uh with any phone so i mean i really it doesn't bother me it has a really nice layout compared to a uh, froyo the battery is now vertical instead of horizontal just little differences but um i really do like it um but i mean why wouldn't you want the latest software even with the little bugs here and there uh, it's really it's manageable. It is very manageable. I highly recommend upgrading. But um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. It really helps out. And um, I'll keep putting out videos to help you guys with simple stuff like this. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I will be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you around.